Rage on that beat, gon' crave. house is a lot bigger than our old house and with a bigger house comes bigger electric bills we moved in in the summer of 21 and i was stunned when i got my first electric bill twelve hundred dollars of course we had the ac running we had the pool pump on everybody was swimming and all that good stuff but still twelve hundred dollars that's ridiculous of course when fall gets here and winter it's not so bad but you're still looking at between five and seven hundred dollars a month so no matter what it's no joke it's time to do something about that Yep, we're about to do solar. So we're not just doing solar, we're doing a pretty large size battery backup system. We got two power walls going up. No, they're not Teslas, they're Sun Power, the Sun Vault system. These ones are a little bit bigger and should be just as good, if not better. Hopefully, either way, it's gonna be good. PG&E likes to shut off power in these parts of town sometimes because you're in the forest and they don't like being sued every time a fire starts. So they shut off the power and you got nothing. Well, we do have something, we've got a generator, but I would rather not have to use that if I don't have to. And of course, this system should be big enough to where we have almost no electric bill, especially in the summertime. That's gonna be real nice. So the plan is they're gonna put panels there, there, on the other side of this ridge and on this other ridge over here. Can't really see that other ridge from up here. This is actually a nice little healthy spot for the panels because when that sun starts turning around the corner, it gets really, really good sunlight right here. All right, so those guys are gonna be here any minute. We're gonna get started gonna probably take about four days that's what they say anyways So what's next after this, tomorrow? Tomorrow, I'm supposed to actually have like everybody here. So we're gonna mount the battery enclosures right there. Uh, get all the raceways established. And then I'm gonna have somebody whole hog the studs in there to create a pathway for the service loop in here. So we're gonna be like, as set up as possible for Friday when the power goes out. Nice. So we can just get everything hooked up real quick. It gets even heavier. How heavy is this thing without batteries? 280. <laughs> that looks real good, man. I like it. Thank you. Yeah, skills. Okay. 
pops, but then we can preset this underneath. Higher? Yeah, way higher. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I told him when I saw this, he's like, oh, this is going to be fun. Look at that. Nice little flat area. PG&E wouldn't even touch it unless it was flat, so these guys built this little retaining wall. Cool. We got feet. We got even more feet going in tomorrow. Two hundred and seventy-five pounds. You said these things are two eighty. Two eighty, and they don't even have the batteries in them yet. That's crazy. So we got the new main panel. Some that can handle the new solar going in. Not even on the roof yet, and already blinking because it's getting sun from the truck to here. Mm -hmm. Each and every panel has one of these on the back? Yes.
All right, man. Yeah, man. One last thing before you guys go. Where's the other guy at? Is he already in there? Hey, man. It don't matter. You can let him know. You guys did a badass job. You guys make your company proud. You work hard. And uh, customers appreciate you, man, for real. Hot ass days, tight crawl spaces, and all that good shit. So appreciate you. Thank you very much. And uh, catch you on the next one. Later, yeah. So this is what we got. We got my old generator. We got a nice transfer switch that they put in for me. A much nicer transfer switch than the one that I had. Got the main boxes right there. And then we got these gigantic batteries. You can see they're charging right now. The battery banks are charging. I can see this on the app, so I don't need to really look at these displays, but they're kind of cool anyways. Looks like they're almost full. So it's a little bit after 8 a.m. Yeah, the sun is over there. It's just below the trees, it's just coming up. So we do have daylight, but it's not exactly solar panel daylight yet. That sun needs to be that direction first. I'm gonna check in on it about every hour or so and see what we're making. So it's about 8.28 in the morning. We're making 300 watts. No sun on the panels at all. Not bad, not bad. You can see from here, there's like nothing except ambient light hitting those panels. So to be doing a couple hundred watts right now, it's pretty nice. The rest of the panels are over on that side of the house. So you can't really see them from here, but it's the same thing. There's just nothing on them right now. We're still making a little bit of power. So here we are about 45 minutes later and we're doing 1700 watts using less than a thousand in the house at the moment, but the way our house goes, we use a lot more than that. It's just early in the morning, 9.55 a.m. 3.4 kW, the house is only using 0.9. And the sun, for the most part, is still back behind those trees, but it's starting to turn the corner a little bit. Ten twenty one. We're putting out almost 5K. Battery's gonna take a little while to charge, but of course, once it's at 100%, then everything's going back to the grid that's not being used in the house. So right now at this time of the morning, the house is idling just like it normally would be. It's just nobody's around. We're usually at work or something. Got a couple of essentials that are always on. You know the deal, the refrigerators and things like that. But as soon as we show up and everything starts lighting up around here, we start turning on the TV and the stereo and lights and things like that. We usually push it about between 2.5 and 3K. We live on a well, so when the well pump kicks on, it's another, I don't know, it's in the fours for a second or two. And when the dryer's on, I think I saw like 8K for a little while. When the AC is on, it's like 
6K or something like that. So right now when you see 1K, the house is just chilling. But I'm watching this to see what it'll do. I mean, it's literally been two minutes and we're already exactly at 5K. Hoping to see 10 plus. Matter of fact, I know I'll see 10 plus. And these panels right back here, they got a little bit of light on them, but nothing really direct. Those front ones that we can't see that are up there are just starting to get some of that direct sunlight right now. Those ones over there, same thing. No real direct sunlight, but they are getting some ambient light on them. Some people might ask, why the big battery bank? Who really cares? Like how unreliable is the power in your house? Well, the power in my house is pretty reliable, but we live halfway up the mountains, all the way in a forest, and pg &E likes to shut the power off for no apparent reason. Well, I can't really say no apparent reason. They're trying to protect the forest from catching on fire. Of course, they gotta do what they gotta do so they won't get sued all the time. So the power just goes out on windy days. And of course, if I somehow deplete my batteries, well, I got the backup generator still. So we got the backup of the backup. Pushing just about 12,000 watts. Using a couple of them here in the house. Got the pool pump on out there. A couple lights, refrigerators. Sent a 9.5 to the grid. And my batteries have been full since about noon. So right about four o'clock, the sun's gonna be really weak. My power's gonna be lower. My solar power's gonna be a little bit lower. And those batteries are gonna kick in really hard and help me with my peak rates. And then the rest of the night, the batteries and the grid are going half and half. And we do it all again tomorrow. Now the system hasn't been fully functional for a very long time, but it is working great. And we can see on our build preview that it's drastically going down. That's awesome. And if the power were to ever go out while I'm making one of these glorious YouTube videos, this house shouldn't even blink. None of the TVs should blink. Microwave shouldn't change the time. Nothing we will be on full battery backup for who knows how long. Fully cloudy day. Panels don't have hardly any sun on them at all. I mean, no sun, unless you count the UVs. And we got this. All right, so it's not super bad when it's cloudy outside, but when it's raining, you don't get a whole lot of nothing. Maybe 100 watts, maybe 200 at the most, but almost nothing when it's raining. But the clouds, we're still making a little bit of power. Gonna get some sun tomorrow, hopefully. We should be right back at it. I'll check in from time to time and let you guys know how I'm feeling about it. If it's just amazing or if I really don't like it. But so far, we really do love it. Thanks for watching and I'm out.